How critical was the Government of India Act in the grand arc of Indian history? What was its inception, progression, and eventual downfall? Today, we delve into the chronicles of this significant act that shaped the course of Indian history. In the heart of the British Empire, the Government of India Act was introduced in 1935. It marked a significant shift in British policy, replacing the diarchy system and granting more autonomy to British India. This move was seen as a step towards self-governance, establishing a diarchy at the centre and revising the division of federal subjects between the centre and the provinces. Moreover, this act was instrumental in paving the way towards a dominion status, reigniting the spark for independence in the minds of Indian citizens. The Governor-General was made the pivot of the Constitution, a provision aimed at settling disputes among the people. One of the most vital aspects of the Act was its focus on minority protection. It safeguarded the rights of groups such as women, marking a crucial stride towards equality. This Act had several notable features. Firstly, it introduced a diarchy at the central level of government. Secondly, it aimed to fulfill national aspirations. Thirdly, it proposed the formation of a federal government and an All India Federation. This move led to the creation of the Federal List, Provincial List and Concurrent List, with the residuary powers resting with the Viceroy. Furthermore, this act led to the separation of states, resulting in the creation of Sindh and Orissa. It also extended franchise, granting 10% of the public voting rights. In addition, it provided for the establishment of a federal court in 1937, abolished the Indian Council, and led to the creation of an advisory body in India. However, despite its promising provisions, the Act failed in its implementation. The concept of an All India Federation fell through as the Indian National Congress didn't support the plan primarily because the representation power of the princely states remained with the British. The Act also didn't provide constitutional flexibility or a proper federal structure, with the majority of the power residing with the Governor-General, who was not responsible for the central legislature. In conclusion, the Government of India Act of 1935 was a significant milestone on the road to Indian independence, it reorganized several provinces, leading to the separation of Sindh from Bombay, Bihar and Orissa, and the creation of Aden as a new crown colony. Despite its failure, it left an indelible mark on Indian history, laying the groundwork for the vibrant democracy that India is today.